Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your May 2019 general reading. Now this is a general reading so it won't resonate with each and every um, Aquarius who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so Aquarius, I pulled some cards for us and we're going to clarify as we go. Past, present, future. So and the overall energy... It's a five of cups. Looks like there is a situation where the Aquarius is missed. The Aquarius is staying in an energy of needing to change, but staying in that energy of, well, maybe this will, I can fix this, or trying to manage something that is just not going to be fixed here uh, not looking at the situation from a, another angle and seeing that there may be very well um, a dynamic relationship business partnership whatever that may that uh, marries you and on a soul level the two of cups um, the two of cups not only speaks about love of course but it speaks about um, the hand-to-hand -hand exchange, the the commerce. Um, there may be a situation, a job, a new business, business partnership that will um, bring you lots of reward that can be successful. But the Aquarius is maybe trying to um, make do with what's already done with the three of cups spilled over also talks about hesitating before making decisions so the Aquarius knows that a situation is done but they they continue to uh, pour their emotion into uh, trying to fix something that's just might not be um, fixable if that's all right okay so in the past, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. That's very nice. This can speak of a large sum of money coming in that changes your fortune altogether. Your fortune now is, is of good. There's an ending to maybe the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and maybe there's the culmination of the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this may be even a situation that came in in the past that changed your status. This is a status change. This is title. This is, um, yeah, going to that next level. The firm foundation in regards to the pentacle. Um, it's where the Aquarius, where most people want to stay, but knowing that you have to energetically, you know, go through. Hopefully, we ho we all hope to skip over the five of pentacles, go right into the six, right? Six, seven, eight, and nine, and the ten. You know, I think the only time we really want to skip is the five. Uh, so, this is a place where um, the Aquarius feels comfortable. There, there's a level. There, there was a level leveling up or a change, right? Very, and it's all about stability because the next... Presently, the Aquarius is the Four of Wands in the Chariot. So we have uh, the cause for celebration. The celebration that um, maybe the, the Aquarius is moving forward, is being victorious or has been victorious in establishing uh, stability here. Uh, good news in a project. We've gotten the project to the fore where there's, you know, stability. There is a firm foundation there are four walls up right on a house and you you lay the foundation the concrete goes in and then they put the four walls up so we've got to a level of stability uh this could be relationship this could be job we're going to clarify but whatever it is it's victorious progression forward and this is just for one this is just for the aquarius um, this is why I really feel like this is project, business, career based. If it were a relationship, we might see the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and we very well may see it also. But I really feel like this is victory 
for the Aquarius, okay? All right. And then it only gets better. In the near future, we have the Empress. You know, I I create. I am creating. I am creative. I uh, I am abundant. Um, I have taken nothing to something. Um, and then the Ace of Pentacles. What I was blessed with, that new foundational start from the heavens, I am now creating and building upon it. The Emperor, she governs the three, so the three of cups, the three of pentacles, the three of wands, and the three of swords. Um, definitely, we're going to say that we're staying in that three of pentacles, maybe even in that three of cups. Um, and the three of wands we want to kind of skate over that three of swords but sometimes we have to go through that also and it may not always be in relationship or love it may be in the 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 divorce or separation from one uh one way of doing something and going to another as we see there is a new beginning um this could be uh engagement this is a new start of a business a new job um even more money coming in we had, in the past we had a, a a status change it could have been a large sum of money or large sums of money coming in and now the aquarius is building upon that okay so let's and what governs the re uh for the gilded tarot is the queen of pentacles definitely the aquarius is concerned about the stability of you fill in the blank I really feel like it's of their whole life. Um, my pentacle, what you know, I'm I'm just really concerned about what is tangible, what is asset based, what will propel me to have real wealth, or where do I put my pentacle? Who do I invest with? I am 100% concerned here. Uh, so let's see what this is about. Where are we? more time okay so the four of pentacle and the will of fortune thank you Lord God for clarifying the four of pentacle and the will of fortune what the eight of wands or the eight of clubs okay so in the playing cards deck this talks about um, the communication about the trouble and the jealousy in a relationship. We know in the Tarot it talks about uh, either the arrows of love, there's rapid communication, it's not face to face, this may even be travel. Uh, the Aquarius could have made a large sum of money uh, in the past by way of um, the turning over the cycle something you do in a cyclical base you know um, the money came in you were doing you were propelling and moving something forward give me one more card for the four of pentacle the two of wands so that's the ten of wands yeah there was an ending to some heavy burden here uh, to all of that, um, the carrying of the heavy burden and the responsibility. The Aquarius may have released some things so that they can come to a new status. This also may have been the paying off of debts too. So, um, like I said, you may have done that in cycles. Every month you made the payment. You may have made it for eight years, eight months, eight weeks. Um, it allowed you to come out of that uh that way of 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 life and go into a new one you know take a new route a new path it allowed you to be at a crossroads where maybe you can choose newness uh not without opposition here wow then the ace of hearts it allowed you to start something that you love start a new friendship a new love but there's there's newness here because there was an ending the eight and the two is a ten so it's a ten of wands there's a new start here it was like the release to uh then have newness okay so what is the energy presently we have the four of wands and the chariot 
the seven of swords okay so um this is once again the loss of burden to carry maybe even friendship but the loss of burden and we see the laying down of burden this is absolutely beautiful some of you a car died or you lost a car uh but it allowed you to gain more stability four of wands in that loss also it says plan write down your plan of action here with the seven of spades what else can you tell us about the present energy wow um okay so there may have been somebody trying to be sneaky but there is um an energy of victory and, pro and progressive you know uh progress and the aquarius moving forward the jack of diamonds in the praying cards deck talks about an untrustworthy dishonest person or offer and then we have the seven of spades and it says loss of friendship or loss of burden to carry um capricorn virgo taurus air uh aquarius gemini libra you may have had to um put someone down in in, the, in regards to friendship or uh carrying them or carrying the burden we got burden in the past they have they may have been very well dishonest let's get one more card it could have been a cancer we got two horses here and then we have the chariot uh but there is it's like they they wanted to they have that duality that that white and that black horse dishonest and then this one is trustworthy loving open um it may be that someone is trying to plan a plan of action to come back toward you uh, they have they may have gotten over it, yeah and then here comes the queen of sword that may be you Aquarius if, if they come back toward you and they are not speaking truth and you'll know you're going to just cut it out and you're going to cut them off King of Diamond, they may come back to you and tell you that they they have changed, they've matured, they want better for themselves and for you, that you're their soulmate or vice versa. They're making the choice. They have very fond memories of the past with you. Let's let's move on here because uh, that's a situation. The seven of hearts. But in the past, they were the cheating spouse, or if not your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend. They made promises just to break them. Yeah, this could be a male Cancer, King of. Uh, clubs this could also be Aries Sagittarius Leo they are after what they desire they want I want I desire uh, they may be coming back for you I don't know if you can trust the offer. We'll clarify that on the other side. Uh, the future energy is the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Hearts. Someone regrets not saying things. They may want a reconciliation. Six of Diamond. They may have been trouble in a second marriage, a second relationship. Due to inequality, there may be problems here. Or there may just be money coming in some of you a change of home and a journey here this is nice uh, there might be some legal issues or some contracts to sign 
right stability the heart the hardship is over seven of pentacles good news baby news all around good news coming in to you because of what you've done uh, in the past and presently it looks like somebody wants to come back we're going to clarify on the other side but all, all, all in all, it looks like the Aquarius sits in a place of absolute abundance. Um, let's pull one card from the Angel Answers. Mm -hmm. Abundance. Wow. <laughs> Didn't I say it? The Aquarius, the Aquarius sits in a place of abundance abundance of money abundance of love if it, it is there for the taking if you want it if you don't i think there's other offers and options too uh but there's somebody coming back with their tail between their legs and um we'll see let's see what's on the other side all right go ahead and click the extended link it's only two dollars to get more clarity if you feel like this resonates with you you can also go over to the website book your own personal reading there um thank you aquarius know that i am praying for you pray for me as well take care guys